I'm Jeff Lampilla. I lost my wife uh, seven years ago. Um, I have two kids, Finn, who's 13, and Kinsley, who's eight. Um, we lost all, almost all of our belongings in uh, Hurricane Ian. Um, all my wedding stuff, all of my kids' toys, pretty much, all of our bedding, um, pretty much anything to live, you know, live with all of our appliances. Right now we're staying in a trailer with uh, my parents, uh, 32 foot by seven feet wide uh, with three dogs. So it's a little tight, a little cramped. Going and cleaning up my kids' toys and their memories were a lot harder than what I thought would be, you know, cleaning up my wedding album and stuff. I mean, that was hard, but it seemed to take a, a harder toll with my kids' stuff, you know, their pictures, their albums, their memories that they were creating are all destroyed now. I saved my wife's ashes. Um, Finn saved a autograph Funko from one of his favorite players in baseball. Um, Kinsley grabbed a few of her stuffed animals. So we lost pretty much everything else because of you know all the stuff that fell down and how much water got into the house. For them, it's brought it's brought up the grief of you know losing their mother and now the grief of losing everything that they've had or or known for you know the last eight or thirteen years. So it's really rehashed the old grief and we've got all this new grief. So it's it's compounded it together where, you know, we have to get through the struggles of every day now. And, you know, they have to look at it because we, we are living on our property. So they see the trash pile still out there, you know, eight feet tall of all their belongings and stuff just kind of rotting away. Um, their school, they uh, unfortunately lit, uh, went to school out on Sanibel. So they lost their school. They're now um, at another school that's now three schools together, uh, Sanibel, Fort Myers Beach, and San Carlos Elementary, who's hosting us. Um, my son lost all of his close friends in school. They've either gone to different schools or left the area because they no longer have houses or places to stay. Um, my daughter's lost her connections to friends because they've moved away or at a different school. Uh, a few have actually lost uh, family members due to the storm at her school. Um, so it's it's just it's grief all the way around, you know. Grief is, you know, this time has brought us closer together, you know, in certain aspects, you know, because we've already dealt with so much. We know how to better handle ourselves with the grief, especially because of Valerie's house. So we've moved on from, you know, trying to be negative and turning this into a positive. How can we make this situation better? How can I help you today? Because that's really what we're doing. We're living day to day right now until, you know, we figure out insurance and FEMA and, and other things. And, you know, grieving, you know, has to be in the middle of that too. With Valerie's house, you come here and you're seeing people that are just like, you. you've lost some, someone, you've lost something now. You know, or you know somebody that's lost, you know, everything. They've literally just had a loss, you know, due to the storm or something else. Um, and with Valerie's house, they help you with those coping mechanisms, finding them out, learning what your coping mechanisms are that are positive for you. You make those deep connections here and it provides, you know, security for us. Valor's house has really opened up for my kids. Um, my daughter has a Val Pal now, a mentor. Um, they go out almost at least once a month. They talk every uh, Saturday um, and they have a great time. They go, and, you know, get food. They go and do new activities like they just went to Fall Fest. Um, and then with my son, they've, you know, expanded what he can do. They put him in, you know, put him with other groups with kids that are older than him so he can learn to be a better leader. And then they put him with kids that are younger with him so he can be that leader. It helps with coping mechanisms. It helps, you know, establish, you know, relationships with other parents that are like me and, you know, getting me counseling and getting my kids counseling. Um, it's all about having to deal with the grief in a positive way as in as a negative way or not even trying to deal with it at all because it's, you know, it's just too hard. They, they try to make it as easy as possible. Grief doesn't ever go away. I like to talk about it as waves. Some days your waves are knee high and some days your waves are over your head. Just remember that when you're talking to somebody. 
We are so grateful for Valerie's house and the amazing people 